Good evening everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, this one is going to be something I've been longing to do for quite a while. This is going to be of my current vacuum collection, vacuum cleaner collection as of uh, what's the day? 14th of Monday the 14th of March 2016. Uh, these are all the vacuum cleaners that I've ever had since, um, well since I was a child you could say and what's grown into a much larger collection because those of you who are my very early subscribers you will remember that my channel first started out as a vacuum cleaner only channel before I began doing videos of my Miele washing machine. Um, so all these vacuums I've got here, they are in order of the date that they arrived into the collection. And as I go around, I will explain the story about each and every one. I've tried to make this as quick as I can so that you don't get bored. Um, I was originally going to do having each individual vacuum on my bed and explaining, but I thought, no, let's just do this. Um, so... We'll start with this one. You probably just could tell by what you just saw, all of my collection is pneumatic, bar this one. So this one is a Bowmark V600 Tiny Turbo. It's a handheld vacuum on an off rocker switch there with a 600 watt motor. This was originally owned by my dad, or I don't know if it was my mum and dad that both owned it, um, for vacuuming his car um, and his vans when he's because uh, he was a carpenter. <laughs> Um, and so this has been in my life well, this has been around well before I was born. Um, I have seen versions of it in white and silver, uh, but this one, I do not know its date of production or anything like that. Uh, but I do know it's been a very useful vacuum. It's got about a four or five meter long cable. Um, actually when I was little, I used to be scared of the vacuum because it's got quite a loud motor and very powerful. Um. So yeah, I mean, I, but I've kept this one around and that's rem remained with me for so long. Moving on to the next one, and here's where the, the big vacuums begin. Uh, what you're looking at there is a pneumatic HETI HET200A. And the A means also safe, which is identified by the green splodge on the side of it there, meaning economy. Uh, HETI dates to week uh, November 2009, uh, 09 week 46. Um, she was the very first vacuum I ever got. I do not remember the day I got the tiny server, it's been around since I was born. But hitting I got her on Friday the 2nd of April 2010. Um, I'm able to memorise the dates for quite a lot of these vacuums, for all these vacuums actually that I got. Um, and she was the first like pneumatic I ever got. Because um, I've always had a soft spot for these pneumatic vacuums. Um, and also she's Henry's wife I think, or girlfriend. Some people say sister, I say she was his girlfriend really um she's positioned position next to him i do not have a red henry in my collection actually which is quite sad but i am looking for a henry micro um but yeah i received i took i got her from home base in south ricelip in victoria retail park um i was quite happy she's she, she's got quite badly damaged uh extension you know like the toolkit but no she still works very well okay moving on to the next one this is a pneumatic Henry HVR200A, uh, the male also safe compa um, companion to Hetty. Um, this one dates to week 48. See, a lot of this seems to be week 48 or 46 for some reason. That dates to, he dates to November um, 2013. And I got him on Friday, the, well, I ordered him on Wednesday the 9th of July 2014, but I got him on the 11th. Um, so he was literally just about, what, seven years old? So, seven years, uh, eight months old, he's about eight months, yeah, he's eight months old then. Um, the reason I got a yellow Henry is because those who know me quite personally with my vacuum, you all know that Basil is my favourite, and I always wanted him in yellow. Uh, because of how hard he is to find, I decided to get a yellow Henry to sort of, you know, satisfy my taste you know my yearning for a vacuum you could say but I actually got a bit of paper and I had a basil's name on it and I put it around the front um so in other words I had a basil um and he's got as you can see the 3d face which is what they apply to much newer vacuums he's also got like Hetty he's got a place for the crevice tool to sit but he's also got a one dock at the back so does my George that also have that yeah and yes the Kate famous cable reel and 
Hetty's got her writing in pink, he's got his in white. Okay, next vacuum. Well, he is used as heavy duty vacuum because he's an autosave model. Um, a lot of my vacuums that I've got that are old, I want to put into retirement and just keep them for preservation purposes, just to own them. Uh, it's very much like what I've done with my spinner rinse. You can see that, that is actually in retirement now. Oh, well, gen um, gentle retirement. It gets pulled, brought out now and again. And so does my uh, 3031. That gets used a lot. That's my media toy washing machine there with a Calgon box. Next one here. This is a blue pneumatic Henry HBR 200 non auto model. This is a much earlier model, as you can see. It does not have the white paint on it, neither does it have the pneumatic logo. This one dates to um, is it week 4C8 again. Um, he dates to week 4C8 of uh, 1998, so November 1998. He's the oldest vacuum dated. The oldest one I own is the NV250, but I do not know what date that was because of the condition. Um, story about how I got him, I got him on the 12th, I think, 12th or 14th of August, 12th of August 2014, 2014 was my year for the vacuum cleaner collection, um, and he was given to me by, I was, yeah, he was given to me by, um, well those of you who have watched a lot of my videos and know me on Facebook, you'll know that um, there is a dog in the family called Robin, a Shih Tzu. Uh, he belongs to my mum's my mum's cousin Lionel, um, and I got him from the owner. I got Henry from the same owner because we gave them our old Dyson DC twenty. Uh, I don't know what we had DC twenty nine. I can't remember what it was. I think we had got the model number somewhere. Um, I first, you know, knew Lionel took a picture of of Henry for me, and the uh, I said, you know. To tell Frances that if she ever is getting rid of it, you know, you got someone that'll want it. So he told her, and she actually decided she knew how much, you know, I loved the Henrys, and she gave them to me. So she also took a big monstrosity of a wardrobe that we had. So yeah, that's quite handy. And um, but yeah, Robin is the one that we washed the dog bed of. You know, the one who became very ill. He's been heard barking. He's the one who you can hear barking and like growling sometimes in the and you know yelping in the background of a lot of our, my videos and he appeared um yeah he's appeared and also the one who was watching the supremes video in uh, the car um but anyway i think you can see, he is an 1100 watt motor um he's only a single speed but he's got a power head attachment on the back the socket for that there so i'd love to try and use that um, he's very similar in comparison to the next vacuum i'm going to talk about now this one, Basil, he has been, I mean, I don't know where to start with Basil. He, ha Basil has been my favourite since I was three years old, so, but, and I received him when I was 17. I received him on the 10th of September 2014. Um, um, I mean, I was at college and I came back and, uh, you know, I was greeted by a box. And Basil's been a vacuum that I've been searching for, for for ages. I first saw him in a shop we had on our road. When we used to have our old Huber Senior, I think it was. It was to pass the shop and I saw Basil there in yellow. It was the first time I was ever aware that there was a different vacuum other than Henry. Because I just assumed it was Henry vacuum. I didn't realise they actually had names. Actually, I'm just going to get a quick picture of that. Because I think they look rather smart together. Um, they're very similar in comparison. Basil is a stripped down version of Henry with more basic tools and a single 1100 watt, a single speed 1100 and watt, 1100 watt bypass fan motor. Um, any more information people can provide on, on Basil, I'd be more than happy for that. Um, as far as I'm aware, I'm the only one who owns a Basil in yellow because the other versions I've seen are either blue, green, or orange. Oh, I've seen a couple of red examples on eBay as well, but in very battered condition. Uh, he came with a brand new hose and uh, extension tube, but I only got the bend and the first one, and I had to provide a second one for all my other vacuums. He also came with a upholstery tool. Now, as you can probably see from the back, he has an orange cable. Would anyone be able to enlighten me on the fact, is that the original cable that he came with, or has someone fit a different one? Um... I've never seen a pneumatic with a yellow cable or a different colour than black. 
So I'm assuming it's a replacement one. But as you can see, Basil does not have a cable reel. That's the other difference. He also does not. Ha he also has the blank square where the power head should be. But he doesn't. Oh, I'm going to watch my DC8 model there. That's going to get pulled right off the shelf. But, I mean, Basil. I mean, I feel quite emotional talking about him really because he's been back in the I've been living for so long, and I want to put him into retirement really because I don't want to damage him. He already came from a quite an abusive household in Doncaster for £60 on eBay. Let's buy it now. And I saw him, I freaked out and told mum you better buy him right now. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to move on before my camera runs out of space. Here is my bigger vacuum, the biggest one I own. A Pneumatic George GBE370-2 3-in-1 wet and dry uh, vacuum. He's like, uh, as uh, YouTube user Roger, Ibasiac states, the big brother of Henry. He also comes in a different form of Edward in this sort of body shell and uh, Charles. Charles is his nearest companion in blue, though he has been in green before. Um, so he comes from. Oh, I forgot to state that Basil is um, May 2000. Uh, George is August 2014. He was actually only a month old when I got him, because I got him on the 29th of September. It's quite dusty because he resides behind my door. Um, he's also got a 3D face like my HVR 200A um, and this is his carry handle that's where you attach your water tube to and you, you fill your hot water and carpet solution inside your tank and that squirts it out um, via the attachment of the hose I have done a video of him which you'll be able to see but his carpet uh, washer failed that's right George he failed now nah, you're you're a great vacuum to me <laughs> he's quite sad now he's still he's still smiling it's got a firm carrying handle and he's got a waterproof sort of co cover over the switches. There's the pneumatic logo. Um, Basil doesn't have that on this. So this is your on and off for your carpet uh, spraying and your extraction motor. Though as Ibasiak has actually stated, he is a five in one because he also cleans your upholstery and he cleans your floor. He's got a he's got a, a attachment for hard floors. That scrubs deep into the you know grime this one's got a hook on the back he also features the carpet dock uh carpet one dock as you can see there um now moving on to quite a sad one here this is a pneumatic nv250 it's one of the i think it is the first pneumatic vacuum ever made oh, well cylinder vacuum made i'm not sure if they made up rights before and i don't know my hit i'm not too hot on the history of of pneumatic if I pulled off all that wiring, that's the cable that's wrapped around there, you would not even see a pneumatic brand. This vacuum I bought for £26. Um, from oh, I bought him from Macro Store, by the way, in Acton. Got from Hayes for £26. I saw him on eBay and realised he was a retro vintage vacuum. But no one had taken a picture of the front, so I assumed everything was alright. Got him home and realised what a sorry state it was in. He's been used as a workshop vacuum. Um, the cable he's got is actually twice as long as a pneumatic should be. Um, he's also got the cable's got little bits where it's been tied with uh, duct tape. Uh, sorry, um, yeah, duct tape, and he does not have his original plug. I'm not able to date when this vacuum is because it's meant to be there, but I don't know what happened. He's got a single speed, and his cable is just attached directly into him. He does not even have a hook. I mean, I'm looking to get this vacuum preserved round it, I just want to preserve it and then buy an actual another one, maybe an NV350 which has a double switch. As many users on my video believe that that has been replaced because that has a black switch I think this does and I think they might be right. The same body shell was used for the Medivac which we are now going to move on to. This is a pneumatic Medivac um, compact model MED082. Uh, this dates to May, no Week 35, 2006. I think that could be July or August. Oh, hang on, let me see what George is, because if I know George is week 35, so he's he's August 20, uh, 2006, sorry. Um, oh, she is, sorry, because I refer to her as Nurse Medivac. The Medivac is for people who suffer from dust allergies, so it has a thicker Microtex filter plus... Um, uh, lined bags instead of the normal paper bags, whatever it's got lining inside to protect uh, dust mites from coming out. Uh, it's got a strong 1200 watt motor. She's actually 
the one that pulls up the carpets when I try to use this. So I've only ever really used it once or twice. Got it for sixty pound on. So I got the. He was um, around the twentieth of October. I got her on the 29th of October. That was it. Twenty fourteen. Um, it says Medivac Pop Popular, Wilmslow Cheshire Super Efficient High Filtration Vacuum Cleaner. Um, now she, uh, I'll see as you see, same body shell, but she's got the proper attachment plus a hook. She is like brand new. If I took her into the curries, I could probably put her on the shelf and convince them to sell her. Um, I love the colours. Uh, now I also assume that Medivac was for. Um, I guess this is going to run out soon. The memory. Um, I assume the Medivac was for cleaning up like sterile fluids or you know medical solutions. It's not as I've stated. But anyway, she is my second favourite vacuum in comparison to Basil. So them two are ones that do share quite a lot of importance for me, and I do want to keep them safe. Anyway, final vacuum. Let's see if I can do this before it runs out. You're looking at another pneumatic Henry. You're probably watching this and thinking, how many Henrys does this boy have? Which I have been told I have too many. This is a pneumatic Henry HVR200A in blue. Very much like this one, the 1998 one. Funny story with these two, they both came free. But this one does not work. I found him in the car park of IKEA in Wembley. The owner had used him to vacuum up water. So the motor is completely frazzled out and rusted. I've kept him and I've given him spares from my pneumatic George. Um, and so I'm just waiting to see what happens. I got him on bonfire night, 5th of November 2014. He dates to week 48 again of 2010. I don't know what it is with these vacuums being made week 48. In fact, he's the fourth one I own, I think, that goes to week 48. Um, but I just keep him. He resides on top of there with... That's it, I have the Henry and Hetty... Um, Soft toys, I got them for Valentine's Day, but I'm so far looking, the next vacuum I want to get, I want to go away from pneumatic now, I want uh, Vax 6131T Multivax, which is the direct competitor direct competitor to George, um, so I'm looking for that, apart from that I want a Hoover Constellation, that's one I am, I am desperate to own, and I think I want to get a few Dyson uprights, we had a DC04, so that was a bit of a nightmare it caught fire, but I did like them Dysons. But anyway, thank you all for watching this, and I, I'm so glad to see everyone else's vacuum collection. And just before we go, I should take a thing of that. I think we all know what this is. It's a service quartz I made out of George's box. He's not very happy. It's a Model 6033. Um, but yeah, that's my pneumatic collection there. Thank you very much, and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.